All right, now that you've completed your SEM startup procedures, let's quickly go over the Joel 5900 general operating procedures. All right, once your samples are loaded onto the SEM, the first thing you want to do is turn on the beam, and you would hit it on that HT Ready button at the top left corner over here. Now, as you can see, we have the dual monitor set up. Here's our video s screen from our video server, and here are the SEM GUI controls. Now, what I like to do is zoom out to the lowest possible magnification in order to orient myself on the stage. You can do that by pressing the mag minus button. So we'll be zooming out. You can see the changes on the video screen. And what I also like to do is hit the autofocus button. It's AF at the top of the screen right here. Sometimes it doesn't work, especially if you're looking at samples with different levels, kind of like our spider sample. So if you want to manually adjust the focus, you want to go over to this button, left click and hold, and you'll see a fine box show up. And this, if you move the mouse up and down while depressing the left click button, the focus will change. You can see that on the video. And you can go up and down with it. If you click on hold it on again, you can go up. It'll go out of focus. Down, we can bring it back into focus. That's how you would change the focus manually. Uh, you can also use the uh, auto contrast and brightness button, which is up here. This will automatically determine the best uh, contrast and brightness for your image. And you can also adjust it manually as well by going over to these two buttons, left clicking and moving up and down. So here you can see the contrast changing on your image and here you can see the brightness changing. Now using the left click mouse click button you're making fine scale changes but if you click the right button and hold it down on the mouse these are coarse changes so that the changes go much quick much more quickly so and what happens a lot I tend to do this is I'll lose myself uh, in contrast and brightness or in focus and what I'll do is I'll hit the automatic contrast and brightness to bring myself back to a, a decent looking image and then make small uh, manual adjustments <coughs> okay so let's navigate around and check out the sample uh, one way of doing it is selecting the correct holder on the stage control menu right here. We are currently using this holder and we have six available holders all here. The, these are the smaller holders so let's we'll switch to that and you can automatically move to a sample on your stage by clicking on this space and then hitting go. So this will move us to the spider sample which we're currently on. Now if you want to move or, or navigate around uh, manually, what you do is in the GUI screen in this pink box, uh, you can see the mouse cursor change from a pointer to a triangle. So I can move it to the edge of this, to the side of this pink box and if I click and hold this, you'll see that I'll be moving in the northern direction. Over here move click and hold and then you'll see you gotta keep your eye on the video screen and you'll be moving around the sample uh, you can also move in two directions at once if you go to the corner of the box right so let's move back onto the spider sample this is our gold coated spider now anytime you move to a new location you might want to adjust the contrast and brightness so I'll hit the automatic contrast and brightness button and if you like, if there's something that you like to look at in more detail, you can zoom in by hitting the magnification button right here, mag plus. Now if we zoom in, we can make small adjustments to the focus. Okay. You can zoom back out. Uh, one of the nifty tricks I've learned uh, some people would like to change the orientation of their sample without having to move the stage and you can do that by the scan rotation button which is right here now if you click on this you'll get a scan rotation menu 
uh, box right here and then here you can actually uh, rotate to the number of degrees your sample in any, dire any direction. This is just for image acquisition purposes. Some people like to orient their sample in a specific way to take an image. And we can close that and turn it off. We don't really need that. Okay. Now let's say you're satisfied with the image quality, you've adjusted the focus, the brightness, the contrast, and you really like this. Uh, we're currently in scan 2, which is the TV scan rate. We can move to scan 3, which is a slower scan rate, and you can see how uh, it adjusts on the video screen um, slowly. It's The beam scans the area, rasters the sample all s slower. Uh, so it takes longer to pick up the image, but it gives you higher pixel density. So if you would like to take an image of the spot, you can hit freeze. And once you hit freeze, uh, the image will be collected on your main GUI screen here, giving you information like the accelerating voltage, the magnification, and a scale bar. And you can save this image by going to File, Save Image File, we prefer if you save it in uh, my documents and create your own folder so in this case let's say let's create a folder actually let's put it in the test folder and let's name this image spider 2 okay and save it and we can email that image to you at a later time now if you want the most pixel density uh, we recommend going to scan 4. This will give you your best image. Now this is really slow. It'll take about a minute for it to scan the entire sample. Gives us the highest pixel density. Okay. Uh, I also like to point out at the bottom of the GUI screen over here, uh, you get your standard information for the SEM magnification, a scale bar, the accelerating voltage, the working distance, uh, spot size, our signal. We're currently in secondary electron. We're detecting secondary electrons. And uh, we're in high vacuum mode. And these, all of this can be adjusted depending on what your needs are, what you're imaging. If you're going to high magnification, you want a smaller spot size. Uh, if we're looking at environmentally wet or we're just wet, moist samples, you want to go to low vacuum. If you want better resolution, you want a smaller working distance. So just some of the things that you can change. Okay, this the scan four is almost complete. Okay, and here's scan four. It's a really nice image. You do this, you save it this exact same way. File, save image, and this basic operations for the SEM and acquiring an image. Um, if you want to go back to navigating, you just hit scan two. Uh, you can zoom out and explore uh, your sample.